Study guide question number three. Hulk smash. The Incredible Hulk throws Loki straight up with an initial velocity of 5.5 meters per second. How long until Loki lands? You may assume free fall in Loki's case. An initial velocity is given. The acceleration due to gravity is a hidden given because this is a free fall problem. And you can make an assumption about Loki's velocity. Um, it turns out that any object thrown up that returns back to the Earth is going to leave you at one velocity and come back down at the opposite velocity. So if going up, we're at 5.5 meters per second, coming down, we'll be at negative 5.5 meters per second. So we know a final velocity. Both of those are hidden in the problem itself. The unknown part, when does Loki land? So I don't even need to look at the equation sheet at this point. This is the third problem in a row that's used. I need to solve the equation for t, and again, I'm going to fall back on some work I did in the second video and solve the equation. Now finally, let's substitute in some numbers. The final velocity is a negative number. The initial velocity is positive. But note the subtraction sign here all over negative. The result you would expect here for time will be a positive number. This is a negative 11 divided by negative 10, just about. That would give you the time for Loki to fall back to the Earth after being thrown up by the Hulk.